the 21st century, we have to be flexible, permanently reachable, constantly mobile. The result is that we're always stressed out, slaves to deadlines, emails, and smartphones. We don't want to be under so much pressure, but we don't want to miss anything either. Stop right there. According to Hamburg-based journalist Ulrich Schnabel, it's time we slowed down and took stock. He's written a book about leisure. The central idea is that idle time promotes creativity and happiness. I think we need leisure precisely because we find it hard to get in touch with ourselves, because we're always distracted from ourselves with all these means of communication. And I think developing a connection to yourself and to what's important in your life is something we'll always need. It gives us an inner compass, it tells me where to go with my life, and I think that's why leisure time is absolutely necessary. It's about enjoying the peace and quiet, savoring the moment and doing nothing. That's difficult for many people. But the art of leisure has nothing to do with how much free time you have. Schnabel says it's all about attitude, and that's something you can learn. Leisure is about having the freedom to find out what your life is all about. Schnabel likens it to the way children play, oblivious to what's happening around them. It's fun for us to immerse ourselves in something. Children don't always try to optimize their time and they're not always asking themselves what the point is. Instead, they do things for the sake of doing them. When they play, they play because it's fun, not because they think the game will advance their career or generate more money. They do things just because. Like most of us, Schnabel suffers from information overload. Each day he has to weed through another mountain of data, but as a science reporter for a big weekly paper in Germany, he has to keep his finger on the pulse. We're hit with so much information that it's important for the brain to rest at some point and sort through all of it. It's the same with eating. We have to digest everything we consume. And all of the information that enters our brain has to be processed. And you have to give the brain a little time to do that every now and then. Ulrich Schnabel takes regular time out to concentrate on creativity rather than communication. He likes to take walks. Nature has a positive effect on the brain, he says, because it's a break from the constant barrage of information we're all exposed to. Schnabel thought up half of his book while out walking. People think they always need to do something special, jogging, riding a mountain bike, doing something hip. Taking a walk has fallen a bit out of fashion, even though it's a perfect leisure activity. John Lennon was a big believer in downtime. The former Beatle was seen by many as the most creative member of the band, and his laziness was legendary. Apparently, he could sleep for days on end. If we try to think too methodically and force new ideas, then our brains will only ever follow well-trodden paths. The way we think normally might work most of the time, but it doesn't necessarily lead to brilliant new realizations. We need to give the brain space to go in different directions. Another bona fide idler, Hamburg artist Manfred Jürgens. He likes to spend months working on the same painting. It takes as long as it takes. Ulrich Schnabel recommends making friends with people like Manfred. Their relaxed state of mind is contagious. I listen to my inner voice and it tells me, there's no need to hurry. If you spend an evening hanging out with someone like Manfred Jürgens, you can feel how their calm starts to extend to you. 
One of the best ways of calming down is spending time with people who take life at their own pace. It encourages you to embrace this freedom yourself. Ulrich Schnabel took a six-month break from work to write his book. And he's proof positive that his advice works.